Hey everyone, Tiger Snocker here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we found out that Team Aqua and Team Magma stole some orbs from Mount Pyre, and we started infiltrating Team Magma's hideout. And in this part, hopefully, we'll get through the rest of it. What did I do to deserve this guard posting? My left ear's burning up! <laughs> I still love how some NPCs will actually say, like, what they're doing. Like, last one they said, I lost already, I don't need to keep running around in circles. Now this one, his left ear is facing towards the lava, and he is complaining about having lava in his left ear. Which I guess anyone would, but it's still funny. I'm getting heat exhaustion. That doesn't really excuse a level 29 Zubat. I think it's odd that we're wearing hoods in this magma-filled volcano. Little bit. Uh, what's this over here? A lot of drills and shit. I guess that's what they were digging through the volcano with. Got a PP Max. There's only a handful of those in the entire game. I understand everything our leader says, but you know what? Doing stuff like digging up a super inch of Pokemon or ripping off someone's meteorite. I think we're going a little too far. What do you think? That's not the direction I thought I was going in. But hey, even if the grunts are questioning their leader's motives, we still gotta stop them. And just like everyone else, I'm gonna one-shot you. Seriously, get better Pokemon. Taunt. It wouldn't be bad for competitive, but for NPCs, it's usually better just one-shot them. Yeah, I think we're doing something wrong somehow. You know, losing to you cleared my mind. Next time I see your leader, I'm gonna ask him about what we do. <laughs> like he's actually gonna tell you. If he wanted you to know, he would've told you. And if this giant pool of lava is any indication, I'd say we're pretty close to the destination. We join so we can help our leader achieve his fantastic vision. I don't care if you're with Team Aqua or if you're just some kid passing by. No one interferes with us and gets away with it. Well, you're gonna have to let me because you're not gonna have any Pokemon to defend yourself with in about five seconds. Yep, yeah, I'd say that's about five seconds. Oh no, you're not to be trusted at all. No less than you, Fox. Anyway, I'd say our starter deserves the lineup for hopefully having to defend ourselves here. Oh, I thought there was more to it, or less to it, I guess. What is with me in finding Torkoal all the time? A nugget! We got a lot of shit to sell next time I get to a city or town. Anyway, I think... Well, I'm out of repels anyway, so I can't really use one, but... I don't think we need one anyway, because we're pretty close to where we need to be. Okay, are Torkoal all you can find in this room? I want to see Groudon too, but they won't even let me see its tail. It's got me feeling really frustrated. Oh no, I blabbed about Groudon! You... Dumbass. What is with you people in incompetency? I got enough of that in team matchmaking with Smite. Get sick of incompetency. And we got a double battle here. Fuha! <laughs> soon, very soon, our grand objective will be achieved! You're not finished yet, you're not getting by me easily. Yes, I am. You both have Pokemon that will just be one-shotted. Oh wow, your Zubat lived with 1 HP and then died immediately. Yes. Yes, you were. Just like I told you. Yeah, I'm guessing Torkoal is all you can find here because that's all I fucking encountered. Hehe, <laughs> you made it this far, so I'll tell you. That's right, up ahead, Groudon is sleeping. Max, you went to Groudon just seconds ago. It's gonna awaken real soon. <laughs> Well, we better stop that. Oh, hi, Tabitha. Get 
Chernobyl's weaker in the first fucking Crosshair! Are you serious? <laughs> Damn it, Tabitha! You're supposed to be an admin and you're weaker than your grunts! What is wrong with you? You're less of a threat than your grunts were! Why? If you're this weak, hopefully Maxi's something of a threat. Something above level 30, hopefully. Come on, Zubat? Not even a Golbat? Come on! This is pathetic! Hey, finally, something that's fully evolved! And it's actually a decent level. Too bad it's gonna get one shot by any water move in the game. I guess that one's not his fault. But the other fucking three Pokemon, that was pathetic. Taken down again. <laughs> and while you wasted time with me, Maxi should have awakened Groudon. And I guess we're not wasting any more time. Ooh, shiny! Max Revive. I guess it's a Maxi Revive. Apparently Geodude wanted to rock block me on that joke. What the heck is that machine? I've never actually noticed that before. Can we examine it? Nope. But anyway, what the hell was that slit sitting in lava? Groudon. Nothing could awaken you from your sleep bathed in magma. This blue orb is what you sought, wasn't it? I have brought you the blue orb. Let it shine, awaken you, and show me, show me the full extent of your power. Wow. So powerful. Groudon? What's wrong? Wasn't the blue orb the key? Groudon, where have you gone? Oh, so it was you. I've seen you poking around uninvited here and there. I get it now. You must have pulled a cheap stunt. And as the glorious trumpets play, Maxi challenges you to a battle with his level 37 Mighty Enna. This guy actually is a threat. So you'll got you got to be pretty careful around this guy. That's why I don't like the level gap between him and Tabitha. It's ridiculous. He does use some healing items, but they're not that great. I think the best he has is a super po Yeah, it's a super potion. So I'll still be able to beat him before he can make another move. One more surf, and that Mighty Anna is done. And he's only got the one super potion, so you don't have to worry too much. Muddy Water. If I didn't have Swamper already know surf, this would actually be a really good replacement. The difference being is that it has 15% less accuracy, but has a chance of lowering the opponent's accuracy. I think I'm actually going to put it over Growl for the time being, because, well... It doesn't really have anything else right now. At least this way, I don't have to waste PowerPoint recovery items on Surf if I absolutely need them. Anyway, he's got Crobat coming out next. I say let's go out to Tentacruel because Poison Wall's Poison, and that Sludge Bomb of his Crobat is actually pretty strong. So I'm just gonna keep surfing while he confuses me. Chances are you will not outspeed his Crobat because it's one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Even to this current day, it is one of the fastest Pokemon ever. Oh, no, he's got two Super Potions, my bad. And Tentacruel already snapped out of confusion, so that's good. Alright, let's go and wrap it so we can get some residual damage on it. After it confuses me again. 
Come on, Tentacruel, you're a jellyfish. You can't really hurt yourself. There we go. Now with that wrap, the next surf should be enough to finish it off. Wing attack. Ouch. That did nearly throw into my health. Yay, Tentacruel's smart enough to ha not hit itself. And with that, Maxi's only got one more Pokemon, and it's obvious that it's camera upped. I'm gonna beat your mascot with your rival's mascot. How does that feel, Maxi? Bye bye, camera upped. You're not tanking a surf. What makes you so adept at handling Pokémon? There has to be some reason why Groudon fled. That's what you're trying to say, aren't you? Hmm, you think I didn't know that? With Groudon gone, there's no longer any need for this blasted volcano. I'm going after Groudon, so this is where we part. And that's it. We just go through that little cove there. Find ourselves an escape rope. And out we go. Got some more drills here. Got some more geodudes. And with that, we're pretty much back at the beginning. I usually use an escape rope just so I don't run to any more wild Pokemon, but honestly, it's pretty much right next to the entrance anyway. So now with that, Team Aqua, outside of Lily Cove City, has opened its way to its hideout. So right after infiltrating Magma's hideout, now we go to Aqua's. So what do you say we fly back to Lily Cove City? I said fly back, not surf back. So before we do anything else, I'm going to heal and then do some shopping around. Alright, so I went ahead and sold some stuff, bought a lot of items, and I went ahead and put a lot of the items I had in my bag in the PC, and I used a PP up on Tentacruel Sludge Bomb, so that way it has 12 power points instead of 10. But now, since we've cleared out Team Magma's hideout, Team Aqua isn't really hiding anymore. Before, if we tried going into this cove here, there'd be a couple of grunts blocking the way right there. Oh! We're not quite there yet, but now I know where he is. We're actually supposed to go back to Slateport City. Yeah. They don't really tell you anything about that up until now. So I guess it's not a bad thing that I went here, because now you know where to go and how to find out. And as we can see... Captain Stern is here being interviewed. Yes, indeed. We intend to move ahead with our exploration. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking that time for your busy schedule to talk to us. Hope we can interview you again with news and more discoveries. Whew. That was my first time to be filmed for TV. That was nerve-wracking. Oh, Anthony, you're looking great. We made a huge discovery on our last seafloor exploration. Found an underwater cavern on Route 128. We think it's the habitat of a Pokemon that's said to have been long extinct. <laughs> Captain Sturt, I presume? We of Team Aqua will assume control of your submarine. Your objections are meaningless. We expect your total cooperation. <laughs> Just watch and learn what Team Aqua has planned. What was that all about? Sounded like someone's using a megaphone. Where did it come from? It's from the harbor! The submarine! They're trying to take it! Please come with me! Uh-oh. Oh, not you again. You're tenacious to track us here. That much I'll give you. But now, no one can stop us. No one! Or will you follow us back to our hideout in Lily Cove City? <laughs> Why? Why would Team Aqua steal my Submarine Explorer 1? They can't be after the slumbering Pokemon at the bottom of the sea. But even if I were to chase them, I don't think I'd stand a chance against them. So now we go to their hideout in Lily Cove City. 
you know, you'd think they'd have a bit better security for their submarine, just saying. But, plot. Anyway, so, next time on Pokemon Emerald, because this video is already getting a bit long, we'll be going through Team Aqua's hideout. See you guys then.